DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Okay, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, aka I am Buffalo. And I gotta tell y'all this crazy story about the other day with the Buffalo police. Tss, nuts. My day quickly went downhill. Okay, so this is how it started out. I was on my way to work. I just got my Chinese food and all that on my way to work. And I'm right on uh, Delaware and Lincoln Parkway. Like right where Delaware and Lincoln Park meet, where you bang that right, and then you turn left and get on the expressway. Well, I was right in the right lane, little turn lane. Actually, I was halfway in both lanes. My bad about that. I was halfway in both lanes about to turn right. And then my car just cut off. I got like probably 10, 15 minutes to get to work. My car cut off. So now I'm pissed. So I break out the app. Shout out to Geico for having the little roadside assistance app. I hit them up. Yo, my car broke down. I need y'all to uh, give me a lift probably down the street to the gas station. Whatever like that. So I knew what the problem was too. And I'm going to keep a G with y'all. The um, little meter joint in my car, like where you where it shows you like how much gas and stuff you got, the joint in my car is broke. Now it's been broke for a while. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but it's like $7.50 to get it fixed. And eh, anybody trying to drop $7.50 to get that joint fixed in the Maybach. It's not a Maybach, it's a Magnum, but whatever. So I had got gas like a couple days ago, so I thought I had enough gas, but I did the party out in Niagara Falls with Diamond and all of them. Drove all around. Apparently I ran out of gas, but I had a gas can in the back of the car. So I throw on the hazards. It's a gas station like two blocks away from where I'm at. I throw on the hazards. But as y'all know, I got a bad knee. So it probably would have took me about an hour and a half to walk those two blocks to go get gas. So I'm just sitting there waiting for roadside assistance. They said it's going to be about, um, about 60 minutes, about an hour or whatever like that. So in the meantime, there's a bunch of cars hunking at me. Move out the way. Now I got my hazards on. I'm waving them to keep going. But people just keep pulling up right behind me. So everybody's pissed. I'm waiting. Windows getting foggy and all that. So... About five minutes later, I see a police car come by, turn on his lights, and hit a Yui, and just pull up right behind me. So I'm thinking like, Pfft. I'm thinking like, y'all be thinking like, I'm going to jail. Somebody probably caused and I was drunk at the light, sleep, something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking worst case scenario. So as I'm getting off the car, I go to put my phone in my hoodie, this hoodie I got on right now, and put it on record just in case anything happened. You know how we do. Got to hit the record button like that just in case. So as I'm getting up the car, my hand is in my, my hoodie, but I don't notice it until I'm walking over towards the cop that's getting out. I'm thinking like, damn, I hop out, hoodie on, hand in my pocket. It's probably not going to turn out good. So the cop walks over to me like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, yo, my car broke down. I think I ran out of gas. I got a gas can. I was going to walk down the street, but it might have took me too long to come back. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So he kind of just looks at me. Then another police car pulls up with two female officers. So I'm thinking at this point, one of the three things is going to happen. They're going to find something to arrest me for, and I'm going to go to jail. Two, they're going to tow my car, find something to arrest me for, and I'm going to go to jail. Or three, they're going to give me a bunch of tickets for breaking down in the little lane and stuff like that, and I'm going to go to jail. So you know what I did? My bad, officer, I ran out of gas. My car's kind of messed up, meter. Long story short, it's a gas station down the street. I'm waiting for roadside assistance or whatever like that. So the cop was like, all right, cool. Let me just go talk to the other officers and see what we want to do. So I'm thinking like, what you mean, what y'all want to do? What, what are you thinking y'all want to do? That's what I'm thinking in my head. So I'm trying to type scared. I'm stuttering, shaking and stuff like that. And let me just say like this. Before I even get to the rest of this story right now, I'm going to tell you, my whole life, my whole 32 Either 32 or 33. I forgot how old I am. I'm either 32 or 33. My birthday in January. I'm one of them. But anyways, my whole life, I've never voluntarily got into a police car. I'm talking about ever. I would never voluntarily get into a police car. So he walks back. He was like, hey, we had just give you a lift down the street to go get some gas and then come back. So one part of my brain is like, oh, that's, that's pretty nice of you guys to give me a ride. But in the back of my brain, you know what I'm thinking? One of my Facebook friends is going to ride by at the exact moment that I'm getting into this police car. And they ain't gonna tell the whole story about my car breaking down, none of that. It's just gonna be a stat. Bandana black with the police. And I'm thinking that's, that's just gonna turn that's just gonna turn out bad for me. But I ain't wanna lose my job either, because I was gonna be late for work. I probably would have missed my shift, probably would have got written up or something like that. So I had to make a split a split second decision. Either lose my job and still be cool, or take the risk of somebody seeing me getting in this police car and go down the street. So I was like, damn, Christmas coming up and all that, Shamini toys. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get in the car. So I got in the front seat. I voluntarily got in the front seat. Uh, the officer was actually cool. He was talking to me. Uh, I told him I was like DJ Band in a black from the radio station. He said that he listened to the radio and all that. And he liked the music and everything like that. So I'm like, cool. So we go get the gas. I come back. Now, this is this, how you know I'm scared. So I got a two-gallon gas can. I put like one-fourth of a gallon of gas in the car. 
just so I can pull around the corner and get away from the police. So the officer was cool on it too. Shout out to him. But so I pull around the corner on Lincoln Parkway. As soon as I pull around the corner on Lincoln Parkway, another police car vroom, pull up right behind me because I pulled around the corner to finish putting the rest of the gas in so I can get to work. So they put up behind me right there. This just does not look good. This is not my day. So I walk over to the car, prepared to get arrested. And he was like, oh, no, we were just checking to make sure that you was good. I was like, no, I'm good. I just wanted to make sure I got out of the way of safety and all that to get around the corner. Really, I was trying to get away from them. But I said to get to safety so I could pour the rest of the gas in the car. I said, all right, cool. Have a good day. So I kept going on about my day, made it to work. I ain't getting no write-ups of being late, no none of that. Well, as of this moment right now when I made this video, I didn't get a write-up. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. No, I'm just playing with y'all. No, I'm for real. I might still get written up. Hopefully not. But <laughs> anyways, that was cool. But, I mean, the Buffalo Police Jai helped me out. This is the one time in my life I can honestly say that. They definitely, definitely, definitely helped me down. The officer name was, um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to get in contact with him too. I'm going to get him one of the I Am Buffalo shirts. Definitely, because he looked out for me. Uh, I think it was Officer Zeno or Offer, Officer Zeno, like Ben Zeno, Zeno, Zeno. I don't know. But somehow I'm going to get in contact with him. And by contact with him, I don't mean I'm going to go into a police station asking about him. I'm going to send like an email or a call or something like that, tell him he can pick it up from somewhere else. I'm definitely not voluntarily walking into a police station. But if you know Officer Zeno or Officer Zeno, whatever his name is, tell him I said good looking. DJ Ben, 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 Dan.